Hello, hello guys. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are Hi. you? I'm doing great. Mm -hmm. Thanks for asking. So thanks a lot, guys, for joining. Hi, Mauricio. Hi, Yolanda. I saw you super early. <laughs> Rafael, good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. I also see Josue. Hey, Josue. Great to see you. Hi, teacher. Hello. We have missed you, but I'm super happy to see you back. Hi, you're being good evening. I see Monica there. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Are you doing great? Are you having a nice day? Yes, very busy. Busy, okay. Uh -huh. Busy but productive, I guess. Or I have. Not much. <laughs> okay. So, well, I hope you're having a nice day, uh, like very productive, busy as well. And, uh, and thanks a lot for joining. Uh, thanks a lot for sharing with us part of the last two sessions. Oh, yeah, I, say, I, I told you, I say easy. Oh, easy. My bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not I sorry. I said busy. very busy. Very busy. No, easy. Busy. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Oh, okay. No, no, no. Um, you're good. So that's what I got, <laughs> that you had a, a busy day, but productive, I hope. Uh -huh. uh huh. That's why. No, I didn't get easy. I heard you said busy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, well, guys, this is uh, session number um, 15. Pretty much we are finishing module tomorrow, right? And there are like two important things that we are going to be discussing uh, between today and tomorrow that, it, that are related to jobs. We have been uh, discussing general questions about jobs, uh, but today we are going to be working. Uh, I don't know, Mauricio, if your camera moved or you it's are- my, it, She's <laughs> my dog. I the dog. <laughs> it, Reina, the, her name is Reina. Oh, seriously. But Reina say, is having Reina. a nice time. Reina, say hello. Reina. Ki? Reina Hi. is over. <laughs> <laughs> it's passed out. It's, All right. It's, it's resting. She is yeah. resting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it looks like. <laughs> All right. But nice that you got some company there. All right. Yeah. So um, one of the most important things, guys, that we are missing is questions related to job interviews. I don't know if you have ever had the, the chance to go to a job interview in English. Um, most of the times, uh, at least in El Salvador, they are to major, like how much English you manage, if you can speak well, if your vocabulary is good, if your fluency is good. Um, not necessarily, I think that Spanish and English interviews are a little bit different in my experience, but I don't know guys, has anybody worked in recruitment? Have you ever had any experience uh, recruiting people, interviewing people? Uh, no. Nobody? Do we have anybody here who has some experience in recruitment? Hi, Cody. Hi, Sophie. Good evening. Jasmine, great to see you. Experience about that people uh, recruiting. Speaking? Uh, no, recruiting. Like, recruiting. Yes, uh, like if you have ever had experience in the recruitment area, like recruiting people or interviewing people. But for example, when people work in human resources um, or when they are psychologists, so they help in the in the hiring process. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an exam to recruit you. No, I never. Never. Okay. So, well, not necessarily like an exam. It can be an interview. It depends on the company, right? It can be a test. It can be an oral interview. It can be a typing uh, evaluation. There are different types. So we are going to be uh, checking some general questions that people ask you in English interviews, right? And what can we say like to answer those questions that is very tricky sometimes because they ask questions that we are not prepared to answer. So um, we are also going to go over some vocabulary to talk about your personality. That is a key question, like tell me about yourself and that we have no idea how to answer. 
So we're going to try to get like, uh, get that working right. So guys, uh, let me just uh, get started here with some vocabulary so you can help me. And uh, my first uh, thing to share is the following slide. So take a look a little bit of a personality. I know you know this, but just to give like a little uh, refresher, right? A little refresh here. Take a look at the words we have. And uh, can you please select the ones that you don't recognize, the ones that are new for you? If you see here, you have it, like the two, um, like the opposite, right? For example, ambitious, the opposite is unmotivated. Uh, generous, the opposite is stingy, for example. Hardworking, the opposite is lazy. So is there any word that you don't recognize or are we good? Are we fine? Hamlet. Uh, humbly. Where, where are, humbly. Oh, oh, the humbly. opposite, the opposite of big headed. This one. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So a humble is a person who maybe has a lot of academic studies, a lot of degrees, or a lot of money, but the person is like super level headed. Uh, he doesn't believe himself better than others. So he's very humble, very original, you know, and uh, big headed is the opposite. A person who believes he's better or he's superior than the rest. Mm -hmm. So you have the opposite here, okay. big headed and humble. So humble is good, big headed is not. <laughs> big headed is like the negative word. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any other uh, word guys? I am humble. Oh, all right. Well, actually, we will come to that point. <laughs> we will come to that point of your personality uh, description. So that is okay. No problem. Uh, look at this. What is the meaning of unselfish, teacher? Selfish. Unselfish. I'm sorry. Give me one second. Okay, so unselfish and self-centered, this one. Uh-huh. Okay, I, I, will, I will start with self-centered. Self-centered means you are here and everything goes around you. So you are like the sun and everything people say is about you, all right? You are like the center of attention. So that is self-centered, that you want people to pay attention to you. The opposite, that would be unselfish. So that is whatever you know um that you don't see yourself no, no. uh-huh as uh, asking for attention or anything mm -hmm. maybe something which one self-centered or unselfish egoista eh? ah pues no they don't apply uh -huh. no actually selfish is the word uh-huh for egoist so that would be self-centered too but self-centered is more like the person who needs attention. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, guys. So let's practice pronunciation and then we go with your personality. So repeat with me, please. Ambitious and motivated. Ambitious and motivated. Generous and stingy. Generous and stingy. So generous you give everything you have a stingy is like oh everything for me right my money my things so that's a stingy hard working lazy hard work, hard work, lazy. Lazy. lazy honest dishonest honest dishonest honest dishonest humble big headed independent dependent Independent, independent, independent. Kind, inconsiderate. Kind, inconsiderate. Nervous, calm. Nervous, calm. Nervous, calm. Mm -hmm. The L doesn't really sound like come. So come, no L. Uh -huh. Open, open minded, close minded. Come. Open-minded, close-minded. Close-minded. Close-minded, right? Optimistic, pessimistic. 
Optimistic, optimistic, pessimistic. Outgoing, shy. Outgoing, shy. Punctual, late. Punctual, late. Late. Reliable, unreliable. Reliable. 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 I like the word reliable. I don't know why. Talkative, quiet. Talkative, quiet. 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 So unselfish and self centered. Unselfish, selfish, and self centered. Okay, now the question is which of these words represent your personality? So, what is your personality like? If you have to describe yourself with the positive side and your negative side, how would you describe yourself? Maybe the words that you need are not here. A little bit pessimistic. Wow. Uh huh. What else? Tell us, guys. Tell me more. Open minded or close minded? Open minded. Or close minded. People also call it narrow minded. Are you narrow minded? No. But square minded? No. Narrow minded or open minded. No, 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 no. Uh, are you humble or are you big headed? Are you reliable? I like this word. Reliable means uh, people can give you activities, for example, and they know that you complete those activities. So they can trust you. So that is reliable. People can trust uh, activities or, or can trust a secret in you. And they are like very confident that you will do a nice job. Signar or relevar in Spanish. In this case, no, because it is personality. So reliable means digno de confianza. So you can call it reliable or trustworthy. So people, if you are reliable, La gente le confía. So you are trustworthy. Mm -hmm. Or the opposite, unreliable. <laughs> you tell a secret and everybody knows the secret uh, the next day. <laughs> so that is unreliable. Um, so, yeah, what, what's your personality like? Reliable. Reliable? In heard, my case, I yes? am very motivated with my job. Oh, okay, so motivated, nice. Honest. Honest, okay. Hardworking. Hardworking, all right, great. Guys, I'm going to, I'm independent, all right. I'm going to give you two minutes because probably the words that you need are not here. Okay, so I'm going to give you two minutes and I want you to write Three positive and three negative. Three positive adjectives um, that represent you, that represent your personality, and three negative. When I say negative, probably is something that you want to change. For example, are you too pessimistic? Or are you um, too dependent sometimes in other people? Or are you passive and you would like to change that? There are a lot of things that are not here. Uh, for example, um, in my case, part of my negative characteristics, for example, is that I'm super forgetful. So I forget everything. I need to write everything or I forget them. So I'm really forgetful. Um, uh, what else? Maybe I am not meticulous. Um, I admire people who are super, super detail oriented. They pay attention to every detail. I am not very meticulous. So I think that is one, something negative that I would like to, you know, to change. And maybe the other one is, I don't know, I cannot think of other things. Yes, crazy, tell us. Teacher, I had a question. Yes, me. Meticulous. Yes, me. Is similar to say perfectionist or is different? Yes, the yes. thing is that perfectionist sounds bad. <laughs> uh, so there is another word that is detail oriented. Probably you have seen it. So meticulous or detail oriented. That is more professional, let's say. Mm -hmm. You can say perfectionist, but perfectionist sounds 
like bad, like something really bad. Mm -hmm. So you can use better, meticulous, or detail oriented. It is the same. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. So two minutes, guys. Two minutes, three positive and three negative. Teacher, excuse me, what's the meaning of humble and this baby? The meaning of? Humble. Humble, all right. So a humble person is a person who um, doesn't believe himself or herself better than others. So this person doesn't believe, treats everybody in the same way it doesn't matter if he um, has money. It, do it doesn't matter if he has a better social or economical position. So that is homeboy, right? Like, um, let me think in Spanish. That's humilde. So a person who doesn't believe himself better. Mm -hmm. So that is the one. And big headed <laughs> would be the opposite. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I'm not in any group. Uh, what do you mean? No, no, right now you are not going to groups. So I'm just giving you like two minutes to make a list uh, or to think better um, about your own personality. So like three positive things about your personality and three negative. We are not going to the group to groups right now. Okay. Yeah, but wait, you. take it easy. <laughs> you will go in some minutes. Okay. okay. Okay, guys. So tell me, tell me some positive things about your personality. If you check, um, we don't use the word happy. We don't use the word angry um, because they are not personality. They are feelings. If you want to say, for example, happy, uh, you can use other words. For example, I am lively, right? I am outgoing. That is to talk about your personality. Uh, better not use uh, happy. If you want to say like angry, for example, don't use angry because that is not personality. That is a feeling. So if you are really an angry person, you can use, for example, grumpy. <laughs> okay. So if you are a grumpy person, uh, you can use, for example, I'm a hot-headed person. So I'm writing, them, I'm writing them in the chat just for you to take a look. So hot headed is como mecha corta, you know, like a short, short fused person. <laughs> so hot headed, you get angry like this, okay? Um, what else? Uh, tell me more, more words because we normally use happy and angry, but we don't Workaholic. Really oh, oh. Work, yeah, but that's bad. <laughs> this is a bad, this is a bad, uh, I think, Characteristic. characteristic. I agree. Yes. I mean, it's good because you make money, but it's bad because we don't have a life outside um, sometimes. Well, I I I I think it's not a uh, this this case because mm -hmm. uh, in some cases you don't have more money, but for being you a like workaholic. to work a lot. Oh, and it's not for money. Oh. It's for I think responsibility, but uh, it's not good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, sounds really interesting. I, I always, that's a different point, you know, because I always relate working more with more money, like directly proportional. <laughs> okay, but now really. I think it's, a, it's, it's about the responsibilities. Oh, I guess it depends on your job. I, I, I think it depends on, the, on all the things you got to do. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, so tell me about your personality. What is something positive about you guys? In my case, teacher. Yes. Negative uh, characteristic. I am okay. hot-headed. <laughs> yes. <Okay>. Uh, <laughs> so hot -headed the person. second is I am a workaholic. Oh, but okay. I think I change uh, this, this kind of uh, Behavior. characteristic. Uh -huh. Yes, because I think I have a family, I have a dog, and I, they need my time. <laughs> they need your attention, definitely. Yes. All right. Okay, okay. Hmm. That's it. So you're a little bit of yes. a workaholic. All right. That's okay. Sounds nice. I really like 
the way you express this negative thing because she softened it. Even though being a workaholic is something bad, she softened that by saying that she has changed her behavior. So that is amazing. I really like the way you expressed it. Uh, guys, what about the rest of you? Something positive, something negative you want to share about your personality? Yes, Cody, go. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think uh, positive, uh, I'm open-minded. Oh, okay. And I'm a little bit kind. Sometimes. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I don't know how to say when when you are uh, making the making people smile or laugh. I don't know, but is I'm always uh, I'm always spending my time or sharing my time with my friends in <clears throat> I would like use lively you know I would use uh, this one I would use lively normally a lively person is a person who is always like super happy super energetic you know and, and very contagious so we can use probably lively we can use easy going, so um, right? Uh, easy going, going. I think. Mm -hmm. cool. mm -hmm. Exactly, easy going, or we can use probably outgoing, right? Que es para alguien muy sociable. So outgoing. Any outgoing. of these words I think would apply for you. So lively, easy outgoing. going, or outgoing. Mm -hmm. Oh, very I cool. like easy going. And the uh -huh. negative is uh, sometimes uh, I'm so honest oh when i say the, the truth and with my friends or with my family i think the thing i i say the things like without filter like they are uh yeah oh okay without filter yes. oh and all right. another another and um, negative is uh when i said uh, at the beginning uh, i'm a little bit pessimistic but guess, not for, for uh -huh. all the, the, the things, I think. Mm -hmm. Just for one thing about my life or about some situation. Mm -hmm. Not always. I'm not always pessimistic. <laughs> okay. So, but when it relates to you, to your future, to your career, for example, you tend to be pessimistic. Yes. yes. Oh, okay. For, for situations like that. Oh, all right. I see. I see. Thanks for sharing that. Uh, Sophie, I see your hand up. Yes, yeah, Sophie, tell us about yourself. Hello. Good Hello. Uh, after my history about the ask. <laughs> about the? Yesterday. Uh, uh, the the uh, bad. <laughs> ah, oh, yeah, yes, I remember. I remember. Mm -hmm. I learned to be more generous with my, mm, I don't know, with the things okay. that God gives me, okay. and I, I more humble. Do you mean generous yeah. or you do you grateful, mean like thankful? Uh -huh, yeah. Oh, grateful, okay. grateful or thankful? Like agradecida? Yes. Oh, okay. Thankful. Mm -hmm. Thankful. Or grateful. For, for all the things that I happen. And I I optimist about the future. Oh, nice. And I try to be generous okay. with all the people that know me. Oh, okay. Um, no. Sounds good. That, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. Sounds really good. Okay. Don't worry, guys. Uh, uh, we, we will like uh, listen to, to everybody. Um, probably not now because uh, we are like 17. 
it will take some time, but we are going to do something about that. Uh, Enrique, let's listen to you and then we'll move on with the next uh, questions. Yes, uh, I think um, my positive characteristics are hard worker, persistent, persistent and reliable, but I have yeah. bad characteristics. Mm -hmm. For example, I am perfectionist, okay. uh, impatient, Sorry. and distracted. Oh, okay. Distracted. When sometimes, you say not distracted, always, sometimes. what do you mean? Uh, for example, I'm, I said uh, in other class, I, I procrastinate. Mm -hmm. For example, I, some activities. I am working, for example, and um, <laughs> I can see one video, for example, TikTok, and I I leave the activity I am I'm doing. Oh, okay. So no. you you leave the activity uh, of your job and you yes, do another job. thing and <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so it is difficult for you to like to pay attention or to focus in something specific. Oh, okay. Uh, sometimes, but sometimes. Uh -huh. There is a word for this kind of people, no? There is, but I'm trying to fit in it because uh, clueless doesn't really work here. Mm, mm, I, I'm trying to think about it. Mm, procrastinate? Yes, mm, this is the word. I don't know if procrastinate will work for him. Uh, this is the word because normally procrastinate is when you have like a project um but you're like i do it tomorrow uh, i have time <laughs> uh -huh. you, do so, the, you do the activity at the last time yes or yes, yes, you yes. delay things oh that's the yes, one okay yes. so this that's procrastinate <laughs> okay but there is another <laughs> word for that uh procrastinate that is the one okay Nice. So take a look at the next questions. I have some for you so we can discuss. Take a look at the one that is at the bottom. It says, I like someone who is because. So what kind of people, what kind of personality do you feel more, I don't know, acceptable, let's say, right? The second one says, I enjoy being around people who are because. There is always our friends, for example, they have a specific characteristic. They have a specific personality traits, or we feel more comfortable in a specific group of people. So how are they like? Are they sociable? Are, are they shy? Are they reliable? I can stand. Remember that can stand is I hate. I cannot tolerate. So I can't stand people who are. Is there any personality that you say, um, mm -mm, I don't feel very comfortable with this person because of the personality? Yes, Yolanda, tell us. Uh, in my case, I like someone who is punctual oh, because okay. I like the punctuality. Oh, amazing. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Sounds good. Pretty, yes. pretty I enjoy good. being around people who are honest because I am trying to be honest with other people. Oh, okay. Uh, so I can choice. stand people. Uh -huh. I can stand people who are, I, I think, procrastinated because <laughs> I don't like this kind of people. Uh, but oh. why not? Wait. No, because yeah, I am okay, very nice. responsible. <laughs> no, in, in my case, I, 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 I am very responsible of my on my of my activities. But, but, you can but help if me. I depend, but you can if, help if I depend, <laughs> if I depend the other people. If these people is procrastinated for me it's frustrating it's oh. a frustration uh-huh mm -hmm. i ha i had a uh colleague a worker mm -hmm. oh yes a, a co-worker that uh, uh, has this problem he um, procrastinates for me, yes for me it is uh, well it's very frustrating every day work with her <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. I feel I said, you, I, I some, guess. Yes? I said some, sometimes. I said sometimes. <laughs> no, I said. Enrique is defending himself. No, Enrique, it's not personal. <laughs> Don't take it personal. Okay. Not okay. right. <laughs> but thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, yes, Silvia? Tell us. Teacher, I think that procrastinate is good or is bad. It depends of the of the decision 
because if in the work, I think it's bad mm -hmm. because in the work you have to, to be um, fast and efficient. Nice. But in your life, when you have to make a decision important, uh -huh. you have to procrastinate. You, if you take a decision uh, faster and you don't think well, you can uh, make mistakes. So it depends of the area, procrastinate is good or bad. No, okay. I think no. Well, the, that I, the idea of procrastinate, I think. Yes. What yeah, happens but, is with procrastinate, uh, I think that what you mean is like making decisions um, at the last time. But it's important. You need to this to you need to take the decision in this moment. In your case, if you uh, think about I get married with him, but at the last time uh, you need to know uh, who is he. Or oh, this is <laughs> is this is not procrastinated. It's a good decision. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what happens or, or the, um, like the context of procrastinate, let me give you my example. <laughs> like five years ago, no more, like seven or eight years ago, uh, I, res I completed my process to get the escalafón, like a long time ago. So I went to Ministerio de Educación and I completed the process and they told me coming two months to pick up the material, all right? So that was seven years ago. And then five years ago, pa five years passed, four years passed, and I forgot about it. Or maybe not, I forgot. I was just like, um, I'll go next week. I'll go next week. Like three years ago, I went <laughs> and I picked up my Scala food. That is procrastinate because you know that is something you have to do but I didn't do it. I was maybe not lazy. I was just like, ah, I'll do it later. Uh, it's not something important. It's not something <laughs> relevant. So that is the idea of procrastinate when not necessarily making decisions without thinking or making decisions fast, but in the sense of you have a responsibility, you have to do it, but you're like, ah, I'll do it later. Prepare, you don't, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you know you have to do something important, but you're like, Netflix is but, now. <laughs> but if your decision uh, depends, uh, other people depends uh, of your decision, it's, it's a big problem. Yes. Because you delay other people's work. Other people, uh huh. Yeah, that, that's a, a good point. Okay, so that is with procrastination. Guys, what about the rest? Tell me, um, what do you think about the rest of them? What kind of people do you like? What kind of people you can stand? Yes, all the personalities are beautiful. Yes, but, but uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, because it's fun. I mean, everybody has a unique personality, but always yeah. we have something that we say, I really want to change this, you know, or my, I love my best friend. But my best friend is so close-minded. It's so hard to talk to her. So, I mean, that is the point. Uh -huh. So what is something that you cannot stand or a type of personality you cannot stand? Guys, anybody? I, I like when someone is open-minded. Oh, yes, that's amazing. And I, I can understand <laughs> when it's close-minded because when uh, you... Uh, Talking, talking with someone who is open-minded, you can talk about anything. Yes, I, I agree. And don't be, uh, don't will be any problems. I think mm, there won't be yeah. problems. Okay. Yeah. yeah nothing. Right. Nothing. Who's gonna? They don't judge yeah. you. ¿Cómo se dice? They don't judge. I'm going to write it here. Judge. They don't judge you. They don't have prejudices or anything. So, guys, are you open or closed minded? Let me just show you. Are you open minded? Is everybody kind of open minded? 
Yes. I think I'm open, open mind. mind. I think yes. I'm open mind. I'm open mind too. Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Especially because in our country, our culture has a lot of taboos, you know, uh, has a lot of topics that, uy, no. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> and, and that is the, the point, you know, but it's amazing when people are open minded. Um, are you punctual or are you unpunctual? Are you the opposite? Are you punctual I, or late? I like I'm to not be punctual. punctual. Not to I punctual. Hate, I can stand the late punctual. people. You can't send people who sleep. Okay. Yes, okay. I, I, and it always happened to me when I have a, a, a meeting with my friend and I always in the in the hour I was I'm always punctual. So you're but always waiting I, for them. I have I have to waiting for them. In it's always in and they know. They know I. I'm sorry. They know that I'm. I like the the people who is punctual, but uh, they always be late in the in the meeting. Oh, I am the friend who is always late. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, not always. <laughs> you know, I'm super responsible with work, I think, but with my friends. I tend to procrastinate a lot. <laughs> okay, <laughs> guys, um, are you shy or are you outgoing? How do you describe your personality? Are you like very quiet, very shy? It's difficult for you to talk or are you very outgoing, very lively? I'm outgoing. In my case, I'm so shy. Jasmine, okay. Jasmine is so shy. And, and okay. I'm shy. I'm not Sophia. going. Sophia. <laughs> Sophia shy. No Sophia, way. <laughs> what? That will What about you? Are you shy or outgoing? That way you are. You are, are. I see your microphone on, but I cannot hear you. Can you listen to Teacher. us? Teacher, can you write shy? Uh, absolutely, yes. Oh. Give me one second because I think it's in the slide. Um, this one, outgoing and shy. Okay. Mm -hmm. shy. There you go. Okay. Yes. You. You. You're welcome. Okay, guys. So I have some questions for us to discuss. Take a look at this one. Here we have, uh, what are some characteristics of your personality? That is the question we just discussed, right? What makes you happy? Talking about personality, everybody's super different. So guys, what makes you feel happy, lively, uh, in a good mood, right? Um, what are some things that make you angry? Um, I told you before, we have people who are grumpy all the time, uh, people who are hot-headed, right? They get angry super fast. So what makes you angry? And are you a determined person? Are you a stubborn person? Determined and stubborn. So stubborn is good and bad. So that is like necio terco, right? If you say this is blue, this is blue, and, and there is no other color. So are you determined? Are you a determined person? Are you a stubborn person when you want something? And are you jealous person? Here, when we are talking about jealous, we are not only talking about romantical terms, but for example, jealous of a coworker. Are you a jealous person? Do you feel jealousy about other people's uh, progress, other people's achievement, for example? So what are your thoughts on this? I'm going to give you, now I'm going to send you to some groups so we can talk about them. Uh, and of course, give your opinion, right? Talk guys, enjoy it. So. Let me give you, you can take a picture of the questions and let's discuss. We have like 10 minutes. Let's go, let's go guys.
humble, uh, kind, um, mm, I think that I, this is the, 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 the good, but I have changed uh, because I'm lazy, very lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the I'm trying. This is I. I need change. This this. You, are you a shy person? Yes, teacher. I'm shy. Oh, okay. Is it difficult <laughs> for you to make friends or to talk? Um. Uh, sometimes. Oh, okay, okay. This is what the, about, uh -huh. that is like the, the part that you need to, to modify. So not yes. to be that shy. All right, what about the rest of you guys? So. Well, what about I, your personality? Well, uh, I think my personal, my personality is, uh, I think it's, uh, I am an optimistic, uh, very optimistic in ambitions. I like that. And um, I am not pun punctual. I'm not too punctual. <laughs> I'm trying, I am trying. I'd say, well, I, if I have an appointment from a specific hour, mm -hmm. I don't know why late. I, only, I, only, I arrived five or, <laughs> ten, or ten minutes later. All the time. Uh, uh -huh, five or ten minutes later at that time. So it's uh, uh, a, lot, a lot of the time of it because I said, well, the traffic is or, or I have to do a lot of things and I, I don't respect that time or if I have a you have a you have a, a, an appointment and uh, I don't know I uh, I have to I have to work in that point in the organization of the time yes in the organization of the time nah, really yeah and I'm open mind I'm really open mind I uh, so it's like my my personality. Yeah. For me, teacher, I um, think I was... uh, uh, the personality, the positive personality is uh, hardworking, open mind, and optimist. A negative personality, uh, maybe lace and a little late and shy. Are you a shy person or are you just quiet? Quiet, quiet. Es, ajá, es que no lo veo shy. <laughs> the thing <laughs> is that shy is como bien tímido. Ajá. And, and quiet mm -hmm. es como solamente callado, pero... Mm -hmm. No, ajá. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Ajá, probably I see more like quiet <laughs> than shy. Ajá. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. Teacher. Yes, Vero. In my case. It's the same. Uh, uh, quiet that reserve it. Um, not necessarily because res you can use it, but I use, for example, reserve to people who don't express their feelings. So people who are very, um, I don't know, they don't like to express what they feel. They don't like to um, show, for example, love or things like those. So that would be a reserved person. In uh huh, so I I think there is a little a little difference. Okay, thank you. Welcome, Vero. I think I heard your voice. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> In my case, I think that uh, I am honest, perse persevering, persevering, very generous, generous. Oh, nice. I am too generous. Oh, really? 
Uh, yes, I had it, I had a problem for that. <laughs> uh, what okay, what is the problem? Uh, because the people uh, they have advantage of with you. Me. Yes. But in the in what sense? In money, in time, in favors. In favor. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I had too much patience. But when but no, but when they are foolish, I explode explode explode. Okay, you have a limit. So yes, uh -huh. okay, you have a limit, all right. And I think everybody does. You uh, have the problem to say no, for example, maybe. Uh, you have the problem to say no, or you cannot say no. Or, or it, was that a question for Veronica? Yeah, it's just from Veronica. Maybe, oh. maybe she has a, the, for example, that says, no, uh, I That's can right. do that. No, I can do that. And to this, oh, I, I will try. And you are uh, all the time are very, uh, how do you say, generous? No, I'll say, or, or uh, how do, is the other helpful. word? Helpful. Maybe like really helpful, really no, prone very to help. Uh -huh. I have to I, help the other people and, mm -hmm. and the other people take advantage about that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Is is is. It's true, but when the people is the family, is a problem. <laughs> oh, well, but yeah. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> yes. well, yeah, you're right. It's difficult to say not to your family, but yes. sometimes, uh, you know, we have to be selfish, right? There is a limit, like all the time. But I, uh, I think it's really cool that you are very patient. So you're pretty patient, you're kind. That's amazing. And per, uh, persistent, I think you said. So you're very persistent. Cool. Uh, Mary, what about you, Mary? I think I haven't heard Sylvia. Yes, teacher. I okay. I was thinking in I want to answer a mi menace. Is correct to say, is it bored to me? What do you want to say? Um, um, a mi me nace mm -hmm. a ser eh, eh, helpful. Mm -hmm. mm, no, we can use other expressions eh, like I am eh, from to. We can use this expression, I am from to, que es como, um, oh, how can I? There is no word in Spanish for this. Pero es como que yo estoy presta a, you know. So that is very close to what you want to say. So I'm prompt to be helpful or I'm prompt to help people all the time. Mm -hmm. So that would be the one. So you're very helpful. Silvia, Silvia you're muted. <laughs> you're muted. Okay. Yes. I'm helpful and I I prone to to I don't know it, always I I want to be I want to the people be happy. Mm -hmm. All or, right. Or to be good and if I can help, I I help the people. Mm, okay, okay. Is that something positive or do you consider it's negative? Sometimes is it's positive, but sometimes it's negative for me because I I'm not always help to the people because it's not the things is not in my hands. Uh, sometimes um, it's about uh, feelings about decision that I mm -hmm. I can take for mm -hmm. for them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sounds all right. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, did you listen to Mary? Hi. Hi. Yes. Where are you going? <laughs> okay, it's... in my case, I'm, I'm positive. Oh, I, okay. 
and independent, okay. punctual, mm -hmm. and honest, mm -hmm. and negative, I be very quiet, mm -hmm. shy, and nervous. I would like to be more of the opposite. Well, I think that we can modify part of our personality, right? Guys, uh, because of the time, give me just a moment. We are going to come back and uh, let's go back to the meeting. Hold on, hold on. Uh, thank you, guys. So thanks a lot for coming back. Um, sorry, I had to cut you in the middle of the speaking practice, but we are going to be like sharing some of the questions we have here that can be like pretty general. So guys, talking about these uh, questions here, um, what about the second one? What makes you happy, guys? Is there anything that makes you feel really good? Or if you're having a bad day, can change your mood? What do you sure. Yes? A question. Yes? A question. Are you the sub of the, the closed yes. caption for some? I'm sorry, you mentioned I have disabled the? The closed caption. The closed caption. Yes. What do you mean? For the video? Yes, yes, for the video. I didn't know the video had caption. <laughs> no, I haven't touched. I haven't modified anything. <laughs> oh, because oh, Henry, I, I want to, I want to say that. <laughs> I see you was the sub of the, the closed caption of the video. No, I, I haven't modified it. I haven't modified the settings. I, I didn't I didn't know <laughs> that you like turned on <laughs> the caption. The chair. Okay, yeah. Because I I want to to cut captar to take the, the text of the video. I can make it with for example for uh, with meeting. But meeting, I can do it, but in some, I, I cannot. No, I, I'm really honest with you. I have never seen it here in Zoom. Um, okay. I think I have checked most of the characteristics of Zoom, but they have updated like this new version. So to be honest, I have no idea if you can have caption. I know that in, yeah, in meetings, you're right. In meetings, you can do it. But here, I have no idea. But you don't need it. You need to work your listening so you don't need to read. <laughs> Otherwise, yes, you will it. pay more attention <laughs> when reading. Uh -huh. okay, so that is okay, bad. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, Enrique, let's go with you. What makes you happy, Enrique? What makes me happy? Mm -hmm. uh, singing. I'm oh. singing. Uh, mm -hmm. all the time and saying I'm I'm dance. Cool. I can, cool, cool, cool. I can dance, but but I do it. But I do it uh, because I don't want the approbation with other people. Uh, cool. I do it because, uh, because you it like makes it. me happy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Super yes. cool. Dago, Dagoberto, can we listen to you now? Is your audio working better? Or is your mic working better? I think that yes. Yes. Okay. There you go. So, the Roberto, what makes you happy? Huh? What makes you uh, happy? The Fridays. Why? What do you do with, on Fridays? With your friends, go out to the park. Every Friday? Every Friday. Oh, okay. Okay. So, yeah. hanging out with friends. Okay. Cool. For that, I, I take the course if the class. Oh, so you're it's very Friday, happy. I don't take it. <laughs> you're very happy that classes are from Monday to Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> so they don't interfere. <laughs> He's <Okay>. very honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very honest. Okay, Jasmine, what makes you happy? Mm, I think have a lot of free time to read books or maybe clean house if it's relaxed to me. I don't know if I... Oh, it's a cleaning your house, but with music, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like a therapy. <laughs> yeah, like a therapy. I agree. 
But as long as there is music, I think everything is cool. <laughs> Otherwise, it's pretty boring. <laughs> okay. In my case, teacher, yes, it me. may it makes me happy to have peace. To have peace, yes. peace of mind, peace of environment. Environment. What kind of okay. So like when everything is quiet. Yes. <laughs> oh well. That sounds amazing. I mean, everybody's pretty different. What about the opposite, guys? What makes you angry? Is there anybody here who is kind of hot-headed, grumpy, or with a short fuse? I think it's enough rápido. What makes you angry, guys? Or Me? just teacher. Uh -huh. just a Teacher. <laughs> it's a lie. A lie. No, eh, a lie. No me enojo rápido. Oh, you don't get angry easily. Okay. Okay. I think I saw Cody and I heard Enrique. Yes, guys, go. Well, when when we are hot, 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 hot headed, headed mm -hmm. hot headed, I think uh, all makes. All, all the things makes you angry. Yes. <laughs> no, no, necessarily yeah. everything. <laughs> no, oh, it depends on the situation. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, because also you have this new generation of the crystal generation, right? Crystal that generation. It, yeah. uh -huh. So <laughs> I think that is different. Everything makes them sensitive. So oh, this is more sometime, like. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we are. A little bit is, is stressful, or mm -hmm. uh, yes, yeah, stressful, wow. and and people coming to and start to to talking about anything, and mm -hmm. well, it it just makes angry. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I agree with you. It also depends on your mood. Yes, Enrique. Yes. Teacher, I. I am not angry, but um, some things make me angry sometimes. For example, mm -hmm. when I tell the truth and people don't believe me, uh, they are asking me, are you sure? Are you mm -hmm. sure? I said, I am sure. I'm mm -hmm. telling the truth. People okay. don't believe it. That uh, makes me angry. Oh, OK. OK. Thanks for sharing that. All right, guys. Are you sure? No. <laughs> I'm not angry. Are you I'm sure? not angry just now. <laughs> you know, it's pretty crazy because I think I'm very patient. Uh, but my patient, well, as everything has a limit. So when I reach my limit, I get like pretty um hot headed. So with everything, but but it's pretty weird. So I'm pretty patient. So, guys, I have the questions. This I have this one that is going to be the homework for tomorrow because you need to think a little bit about this. So we have here like some job interview questions that we are going to be discussing tomorrow. Would you have, for example, tell me about yourself. That pretty much is lo que acabamos de ver de personalidad. Um, tell me about your working experience. Su experiencia, eh, les, se las doy ahorita porque su experiencia es algo que ustedes ya la tienen, ya la saben, pero probablemente necesitemos e e elaborarla un poquito. What are your weakness and strengths? Like, fortalezas y debilidades, right? Eh, tell me about an important decision you have made. Normalmente nos preguntan sobre algo que nos ha pasado en el trabajo, right? So this is the question I came up with. Y la última, what are your salary expectations? So, um, les voy a enviar por ahí un material para que puedan ver parte de cómo se responden algunas preguntas en inglés. And uh, qué es lo que se incluye, qué es lo que no se incluye, what's relevant, para que ustedes las practiquen, right, in your houses. Y el día de mañana venimos solo a practicar para una entrevista. So, vamos a hacer juego de roles, like entrevistador and um, interviewer and interviewee para que al menos tengamos una idea de cómo puede ser una entrevista de trabajo. Si alguna vez, si nunca han tenido uno en inglés, right? So, yeah. guys, eh, take a picture, please. Eh, si encuentran alguna pregunta adicional que ustedes la consideren interesante o que les hayan preguntado si han tenido entrevistas en inglés, compártanla en el grupo. 
si encuentran like any video or anything que lo consideren like cool y que nos pueda servir do it porque en algún momento you know todos vamos esa es la idea right que tengamos alguna entrevista en inglés y que sea algo real yes Yolanda Telas uh, I think one question is uh, what is your uh, oh, oh. What is your expectative? I don't mm -hmm. know, expectativa, expectations. Uh -huh. Expectation about to change to this uh, job. Yes, definitely. Oh, oh, I don't know, is your uh, carta de interés? Oh, your letter, your letter of mm -hmm. interest. Oh, que yes, hay que yes, escribirla. Yes. Esa es una de las important. cosas más importantes, pero tiene que ver con writing. So that is the point. But yes, that is totally right. So hablamos de eso el día de mañana, guys. Get ready with your answers y venimos a practicar. La, es nuestra última clase, así que los espero, guys. No se vaya a ir de Goberto un día adelantado. <laughs> <laughs> And bye, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. 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 bye.